rainfall means that uh, areas with zero thicknesses so if we create an enclosure around our, our car body it will meet on a point so you cannot subtract a surface from a solid you can also read about non-manifold bodies over the internet and uh, you, you must learn about how to deal with them so the solution I have uh, thought and I have figured out is that we must make it a surface and it is also practical because in practice if uh, we have our car body it does not meet the road on a point or a point it must be um, converted into a surface due to the load of the car okay so the first thing is uh, to create a domain around our car body that we can do by creating an enclosure so we click enclosure here uh, as you can see number of planes this means the number of symmetry planes so as you can see our car is symmetrical uh, along the midpoint there is no change in it so we can take advantage of the symmetry we can uh, do analysis on half of our car and after the analysis is done we can uh, convert it for the whole car so first we select one as number of symmetry planes then it asks that which plan is uh, the symmetry plan so as you can see from here our xy plan is our symmetry plan so we select xy and click apply after that the cushion of air should be um, created around our car body this should be non-uniform it means that we will give variable lengths uh, in uh, front, back side and so, uh, also on the top so in the positive x axis that is in front of our car usual standards are that we give three columns in front so um, I will give 10,000 mm as my car length is around about 3300 mm so we click generate so it has created a cushion of air in front of our car and it has also divided the car into two parts on the mid plane okay now we will also give uh, in the plus y direction that is on the top of our car we also take it as 10,000 mm plus z means side of the car we give it for example 8000 minus x means to the backward uh, usually you should take it uh, 5 car lengths so it comes out to be this now we click generate as you can see the cushion of air or our domain is created the most important thing is that our wheel should be in contact with the road as if you see over here we can see that here is a gap between the road and our wheels how to deal with this is that we edit our enclosure here we select number of symmetry plan as 2 and uh, we give another symmetry plan as our zx plan here as you can see that the road lies in the zx plan so we click on zx plan and click apply now it does not matter that you give in the negative y direction 5000 or 10,000 or anything it will just perfectly connect your car wheels with the road that is with the 
lower axis as you can see from here so this is uh, important if we uh, created our wheels perfectly circular then uh, if we want to create uh, then if we want to do a boolean operation or it it will give an error of non manifold bodies but as we have uh, shifted our wheels to a surface by cutting them over here it will now give no error of non manifold bodies okay this solid means the question of air around our car body as we can see its type is fluid so it should be fluid we give it a name as air now the last thing is that we should subtract our car body from our domain of air as we don't need it over here go to create boolean now the operation is subtract so we select subtract our target bodies uh, of air apply and to bodies the color click generate okay so it has subtracted our car body from domain of air so that was one method of creating a domain around your car body 